Hi, this is Patty from As It Is, and you are watching the Permanent Rain Press. That I'm okay. Hey, this is Tiana from the Permanent Rain Press, and I am here with Patty of As It Is. How are you doing today? I'm doing very well, thank you. How are you? I'm um, great, thanks. So this is your first time in Vancouver. It is. How have you been enjoying the city so far? I love it. Yeah, I knew that I would be doing like a couple interviews today, so I went on my own uh, lonesome kind of loner walk around, and I, I fell in love with it. I expected to be kind of charmed by Vancouver, but it's super beautiful this time of year. The, the trees, they look amazing. So I love it here. I did explain to our tour manager that they're going to have to finish the tour without me because I'm just going to stay here. Um, so yeah, I'm a local now, so look out for me. Very nice. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> and you have a new album dropping in January. Exciting stuff. It's called OK. So I'm sure it's going to be more than OK. Uh, but better than OK. <laughs> Hopefully. You okay. never know. <laughs> <laughs> so can you tell me more about the honest, uh, vulnerable concept behind the album? Yeah, definitely. Um, our songs have always been really honest, really confessional, very self-deprecating. Uh, but we wanted to really kind of write beyond our comfort zones. Uh, so we started writing about, you know, our families and our really specific struggles, uh, kind of like time stamping them and trying to make you feel as though you were there, I suppose. Um, and there were points last year where I really wasn't okay. And I, I wrote uh, the song okay about that point in time. Um, and it seemed very fitting to just kind of leave that as an overarching theme of the record that it's okay to not be okay, that nobody is always okay. Um, and I just kind of wanted to make an example of myself as somebody who is very broken, that a lot of people might think is very composed a lot of the time, very positive, very uh, energetic, but I, I get sad just like everybody else and I have struggles and uh, that's kind of what we're going for with this record, I suppose. And what was the creative process like for this album? We started writing uh, February of this year um, and recorded in July of this year. Um, and with our previous record, we had maybe like a sound in mind or kind of found it along the way. With this record, we kind of banned the phrase or idea that doesn't sound like as it is. We just wrote whatever we felt like writing, no matter how different, no matter how experimental or just downright weird. Um, so there's a lot of songs that wouldn't otherwise sound like as it is songs and it produced very interesting results darker songs poppier songs softer songs um and i'm really stoked on the result and i hope people are ready for a more kind of uh eclectic as it is experimental as it is and just a, a different as it is but at the very same time there are classic as it is songs songs that sound very i don't know genuine to our previous songs so yeah and what did you guys do to agree on finishing touches? Did you always agree, or did you have some squabbles? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we very rarely agree. Uh, songs take a while because they go through every single one of us, and we all have to be 100% on the songs. Um, and, you know, that's not an enjoyable process, but on the other side, you end up with something that we're all proud of, and that's more important than an easy process. Uh, it's difficult. It's a very kind of sibling relationship um we love each other really but sometimes we want to rip each other's heads off and uh i don't know it, it it does produce really cool results and i think we're all really proud of every single song on this record so there's that i guess so so you're proud of every single song but is there one that you're most proud of that you're most excited for fans to hear the one um okay was a big one okay was a very dark time at, for me when i was struggling and writing it um, and to air it so openly and unashamedly about uh, how much of last year I was upset about, you know, breaking down, having to see a therapist because I was, I was just that, uh, I don't know, unable to cope. I, it was nice to just kind of, you know, really let that loose and just kind of let people hear it. Uh, it, it was nice to be honest, basically. Um, that was a very big one for me. There's a song called Hey Rachel, written about my sister, uh, about when we were growing up and something she was going through and how I handled it. And I'm excited for people to hear that. They're just the, the more personal ones. I'm so, so looking forward to people hearing those stories and kind of seeing if they relate to them in any way possible. But if not, I, I, I enjoyed writing them, so. Amazing. Yeah. All right, and you're on tour right now with Sum 41. So how's that been so far? 
yeah, uh, wildly surreal. Uh, we grew up listening to both the bands on this tour. Sum 41 was one of the first bands that really turned me on to alternative music and, you know, learning to play guitar, um, wanting to do this kind of thing um, and to be here in Canada, uh, so far away from home uh, with Sum 41, where they're from is just, it's just too surreal to really comprehend, I suppose, but we're having an awesome time. We, we genuinely are having such a good time out here um, and we're so very thankful that they gave us this opportunity, but also that people have supported us enough that this is even an option for, for us. So, yeah, it's just very cool. Have you learned anything from them while on tour, like musically, about performing, or about life in general? Definitely, definitely. It's, it's just, it's too weird when we're just kind of talking about tour stories and they're talking about when they toured with Blink-182 and we just kind of <laughs> like, okay, like, that would be cool. Glad you guys have done that. It's uh, no, it's it's so very cool. We've learned a whole lot from them. They've been so very kind to us. Uh, it's yeah, I, I, I you know, I'm, Derek is a, an amazing frontman. So I'm trying to to learn how he does it. Performs for an hour and a half with so much energy and conviction. Um, I yeah, I'm maybe one day, maybe one day. I can barely get through a 30 minute set without collapsing to the ground. So <laughs> yeah, props to him. Gotta build the stamina. Yeah. Definitely. All right, we're going to get a really deep metaphorical question. Are you ready? Always. Okay. If you were a song that's not your own, which would you be and why? Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> God damn. Um, let me have a think. Let me have a think. <laughs> Don't ask me why. <laughs> but the Rugrats theme song okay. was what came into my head. I don't have a damn clue why. It doesn't even have words. Okay. But that's kind of how I feel a lot of the time. Okay. Just kind of, you know, regressing to, to my childhood and <laughs> naivety. Yeah, let's go with that. I think that suits me pretty well. I'm okay. happy with that one. Thank you. Thank that's you very much. That's great. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much to Patty for chatting with us today. And you can catch them on tour with Sum 41, hopefully coming to a city near you. Good luck tonight. Thank you so much. I don't know if I'm